Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflix. Today we'll be looking at something a little bit different. This here is the solution to if you're camping and you don't have Wi-Fi, this here is the portable modem router by First Num, aka CPE C1. This here is designed to allow you to go ahead and connect to the internet by simply plugging in your SIM card into this particular product. And then in a matter of seconds, you can go ahead and connect to multiple devices using this particular unit. Now this thing does cost around 60 or so dollars which is actually significantly cheaper than I was expecting and it's a great lifesaver especially if you're out and about in a remote area where you don't really have the uh, capability to connect to the internet besides your phone. So together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying out to see exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own check out the link down below in the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our packaging. This here is our box. Uh, overall, pretty darn simple, just as first um. So this here is a CPE C1 Wi-Fi router. It says 300 Mbps for home truck RV. Uh, again, designed to be out and about. On the back, does talk about the different features. So it is a portable CPE of the routing function. Okay. Uh, 4G LTE modem and 802.11 B slash G slash N Wi-Fi router. Uh, I mean, 4G LTE is fast, so that's great. It's got an LED screen display with the router status, the capability to insert your SIM card. Uh, you can connect via Wi-Fi. You can share the data connection, uh, and this will include the router slash mobile modem, uh, quick install guide, a charging adapter, network cable, and yeah, that is about it in terms of a nutshell of what's on here. Uh, let's open this thing up. All right, so simple setup here. We've got everything kind of nicely laid out. Uh, and this here is our CPE. Pretty cool. Uh, and I mean, it's a pretty nice, small size uh, route, router modem. Not exactly sure what you would want to call it, but yeah, I mean, pretty simple design set up there. You got your power light, your connection light, your Wi-Fi light, and then your signal light. On the back, you have your LAN and uh, port right over there, as well as a USB port, and then of course your power and a research function. It does showcase the standard uh, connection for your Wi-Fi in terms of what it is, and obviously you can customize it based on your preference top button here you have a power button and then you have your WPS button so pretty cool uh, inside here we have our user manual of course uh, and kind of explaining how to go ahead and set this up and then we also have our power cable as well as our Ethernet cable so this here is our Ethernet cable and then of course we do get a power adapter, very standard. So this here is going to be an output of 12 volts. So you know, your typical output voltage. Uh, and then over here kind of showcases how to go ahead and set this thing up. All right, so looking at it here, so there is a slot supposedly uh, for our micro SD card, which is gonna be here on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and just kind of slide right in there. Um, besides that, you can just go ahead and power it on and you're good to go. Once you do connect to it, you can go ahead and change the password, which is nice to see. So let's go ahead and open this. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug this into our wall. Okay, I'm gonna hit my power button here. I do have a power function LED. You see the green LEDs there, kind of highlighting, showcasing that it is now powered on. And from there, once we insert our SIM card, we can go ahead and connect to this in a matter of seconds and start using it to go ahead and stream the internet using our SIM card function. So overall, a pretty cool concept. Uh, again, I really like the fact that it's a very simple, clean cut design. You do have these little antennas that lets you go ahead and position them in any which way that you like. So really kind of up to you in terms of what you're looking for. If you wanna go ahead and like have it hunkered down like this, you could do it like this. If you want it standing up, you could do it like this. Um, and yeah, I mean, pretty simple in terms of setup goes. I would have to say they did a great job with it. Again, standard in terms of connectivity, of course. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up our phone here. And then from there, just go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi on the rear with the password. And that is that. So yes, exactly what you're probably thinking in terms of what it can be. Um, I would highly recommend it, especially if you are someone who likes to camp or someone who has trouble connecting to the internet when you're on or about. And 
always having to share Wi-Fi via your phone, this is a great addition. So you guys go ahead and take this thing out and plug it on and that is about it. So with that said, if you guys have any questions about it, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.